this is the one episode rule. I'm Magpie. I just ate nine potato pancakes and I cannot keep a straight face. <laughs> I'm so fucking jealous of you. Amazing. I want to be you right now. Um, Wait, you mean I'm... you don't want to be me all the time? <laughs> no, just only... I only want to be Magpie who has just eaten a, a nine potato pancakes. I No, that's not true. I want to be Magpie as he is eating nine potato pancakes. I want to eat the potato pancakes as well. They are. They were good. Well, okay. Um, well, I'm Black Hole. Uh, this weekend, I'm going to Pittsburgh, so I'm excited about that. Um, for probably the dorkiest reason, which I think I mentioned before on the podcast. But yeah, that's my life. That's where I'm at. That's what I'm doing. All right. Nobody asked why. <laughs> so why are you going to Pittsburgh? <laughs> I'm going to a computer arts festival. That's cool. That's welcome cool. to Welcome to the United States. I hope you like it. I've been here before. I don't like it. What do you mean? <laughs> it, I don't know. It's just. Your, your roads are too big. Not used okay. to it. Okay, <laughs> The roads are too Fair. big, and there's the sidewalks are too thin. Understandable. Have a nice day. Why don't you, why don't you buy a car? What are you, some kind of socialist? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody calm down. We're all socialists here. This, intro? this is this intro? This is a bad intro. Joey, you want to go? Yeah, please, hey, Joey. I'm, Deliver us. I, I'm... I thought Joey was an ANCAP. <laughs> Oh, Joey's not an ANCAP furry. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna pretend that didn't happen. Hi, I'm Joey, and I'm... I just ate nine candy bars. That's how I'm... I'm just gonna ignore all of that. That's oh my god. Just a lot of candy that. bars to eat. Are you gonna be okay? Like, let, let's put it this way. I ate nine potato pancakes, and that does mean that I probably, I'm probably overweight and ate too much, but... I mean, to be fair, they were like the little bite-sized fun. Oh, okay, that's see, that's fun. different. You didn't eat candy yeah. bars. You ate mini bars. Yeah, mini no, guys, I, little boys. Hey, well, little that's boys. why I'm elaborating. Joey it's eats just, little boys. It's the difference. Don't oh say my that. god! But uh, it's the difference between being ashamed of yourself and going into diabetic shock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So I'm fine. Uh, also, I just made up the number nine because you said nine potato pancakes. And I was like, nine sounds like a good number of candy bars. So we can just say anything on this podcast. We can yeah. just yeah, you can, we just, can just lie just, whenever we want. Do it. Words Make together. up lies. Quick, Emma, I want you to lie right now. Hey, I'm Emma and I love my job. Um, <laughs> that's really sad. It's, it's nice to meet you all. Uh, I I had a great Halloween. That one's not a lie. That was really nice. Um, oh, that's nice. I, oh, I, I was be I was Beatrice from Over the Garden Wall, which you guys should watch. But we can't watch it on this show because it's not an anime. It's true. Oh, it's it. not Weeaboo Trash. It was a good outfit. Speaking of you, uh, I just had a thought. Uh, speaking of, speaking of your job, uh, do you do you want to tell that anecdote? Oh my you god! Yeah, I should have. Yeah, tell us. I should have opened like, with that. It's like halfway relevant. Um. So for uh, security purposes, I will not disclose where I work, uh, but I do work at a at a a, a call center uh, where I have to make a lot of uh, randomly generated phone calls, uh, and I was I was calling something for California the other day, uh, and I reached the voicemail box of powerhouse animation the the people who did uh clerks the animated series and netflix castlevania and it was really cool oh <laughs> and i God. really badly wanted to be like hi i'm not supposed to do this please hire me bye um, <laughs> and, now, I would have been sniped. and now i feel completely justified in putting castlevania in the youtube tags <laughs> <laughs> there we go that's Good. the metrics. Um, I also reached uh, the voicemail for something called Project Open Hand, which oh I really God. what the fuck? I really I didn't like hearing that. I didn't like having to hear a man tell me that I'd reached the voicemail box of Project Open Hand. I thought that maybe I would stumbled onto something that I should. I feel like that has to be a charity or something. I I, don't know. I mean maybe sounds... or it could be a secret organization of monks. I don't know. It sounds very nerve to me. It sounds like a uh, like uh, Gendo Akari is <laughs> like down in the depths of this program. Project like... Open Hand. Project open hand. We he, just pick, he just picks up the phone and he's just like, "Oh God, you people again! I'm trying to eat dinner." 
<laughs> oh my god. Just a short survey, sir. Anyway, uh how how we all how we all doing tonight? I'm good. Uh, pretty good. Um I've got I've got an anime for us to watch. But I we've got bits. Some of us have bits. We've got bits. I forgot about that. Does Emma have a bit? Bits. I have a bit. I have a bit, but you should do your bit first, because you're the bit boy. I have a the bit man. But um the bit man, pardon me. Bitman sounds like some weird like torrent website. Bitman sounds like an excellent platformer. We need to make that black hole. Get with me later. I can learn to do pixel art. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, we've got some anime news that I sourced 30 seconds before we started recording. So uh, I just picked the weirdest stuff that I saw, as usual. First, uh, first article, Death Stranding game to get novel in Japan. Huh. Uh, That's a novel idea. Shin, Shin Chosa revealed on Friday that Shincho Bunko Nex is po- publishing a two-part novelization of the Kojima Productions Death Stranding. Has, Why? I don't know about all that. Even come out? See... Is it is that even out yet? Like And they're produce they're producing a steelbook version of the novel. Okay, am I uh... things about the novel? You, you, there's got to be piss. There's got to be an ugly baby. That's all. Hey, yeah. that baby's precious. Shut up. Can I um, make <laughs> some predictions about the novel real quick? Okay. Um, I bet you that there's going to be at least one article written about all the whack ass shit. Because you know it's going to be some deep ass lore in, in those. It's not going to be like some, oh, yeah, some Halo sure. style. Well, actually, I've never read a Halo novelization. I've never even played a game. But I just assume like these novelizations of like media is just sort of like uh, some ghostwriter just desperately trying to get paid. Um, like oh, pumping out a story. Are you not? Yeah. Are you not aware of the proud tradition of fucking crazy video game novelizations? Because some, oh boy, they're great. The, Never the, read one. Like, let's put it this way: you you mentioned Halo, uh, Activision, uh, and Bungie fought for years over the lore that was established in the Halo books. <laughs> Hell because yes! Anytime, wow. anytime Activision would pay somebody to write a Halo book people at Bungie would change the scripts of their games to invalidate that shit. Holy <laughs> shit. So good. It's incredible. <laughs> uh, the, wow. Res- the Resident Evil games have a huge history of super fucking crazy side books. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's, it's worth it's worth like getting into. Like, if, if this was a, like a variety podcast, I'd do a whole episode on telling y'all about this. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds amazing, and I'm glad I started like sh- like talking shit about something I knew nothing about because now I'm educated. Because now, because because yeah. now you there's know a, some things. There's a ten percent chance that Magpie will know weird shit about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but anyway, my, pr- my prediction is there's going to be uh like there's going to be some weird like chapter that is told from the point of view of the baby. Yes. Um. <laughs> And there's going to be an article written about this chapter. That's my prediction. That's my <laughs> prophetic dream that I had last night. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what uh, what Kojima's uh, like opinion about this sort of thing is, or whether he was involved with it or not. Uh, it'll be hilarious to see how that turns out. Whether or not he just starts fighting with the author. <laughs> He's like, uh, no, this is completely wrong. It's like you are wrong, and I hate you. Um, <laughs> and you are uh, wrong, and you will not survive. I read this incorrectly the first time. I thought it was a little more inflammatory than it was. But my second news piece is that Funimation files motion to recover attorney's fees for uh, Vic McNogna's lawsuit. Ah. Which is uh, they... Oh, they fi- They also filed this uh, where I live. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's that's where they operate out of. They're that's, like yeah, right that's near where you. They're from. With the, they uh, are at you. Yeah, they are they're, in your basement right now. They're in the same county as Fort Worth, which I'm not actually in, but I'm only about 20 miles out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Blackwell, did you say you don't know who Vic Mignogna is? No, I don't know what this is. Okay. Uh, so, so Mignong, Mignong. Yeah. Uh, so McDonald. let's just as a quick rundown. Um, Vic Mignogna is a really high profile voice actor. He's been in like a ton of anime. Um, he's Ed Elric from uh, Full Metal Alchemist, among other the original people. Original or the new one? Uh, both. Okay. 
Um, yeah, they they didn't recast anybody except I think Alphonse because the guy was like 25. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, but then he made it in anyways because he played young Hohenheim. Okay, so <laughs> listen. Um, Vic Mignogna, super high profile voice actor. Uh, he basically really would get cast in person. like everything as like mm-hmm. the annoying, yeah, the annoying character, the annoying trash boy. Sometimes yeah. protagonist. Uh, anyway, yeah. long story short, apparently huge creep. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Big People big huge creep been... uh, to coworkers and fans alike. Uh, and People apparently... have been talking about that for like since like the, for decades, like, early two thousand tens, at least yeah. from what I remember. But. Mm-hmm. Uh, Anyway, apparently, uh, apparently, what the deal uh, recently was uh, is it came to a head at the studio, and they uh, they told him to take a hike, uh, and he yep. responded uh, poor, relatively poorly by suing the studio and a bunch of voice actresses. Oh uh, my god! Anyway, this news is uh, talking about basically the studio has decided to, uh, to fuck that guy in particular. Uh, they want money mm-hmm. for their attorney's fees, and they they also want to charge him. And they also want the the uh, court to sanction him twenty five thousand dollars to prevent him from filing similar lawsuits in the future. Damn, <laughs> that's valid. Uh, yes, he he did uh, lose his case. By the way, they threw out all of his charges that he had um, that he had vo- volleyed against. Uh, against Jamie Marshy and, and uh, oh shoot, Monica Rial, um, and wow. made him pay all of their attorney's fees and stuff, uh, wow. which and he now, deserved. And now the studio hey. wants a bite. So. And now the studio <laughs> wants to bury him in the ground, which I think is good. Nice. Uh, I also did not know that the judge's <laughs> name was Judge Chup. Yep. Judge what? <laughs> C-H-U-P-P. Oh. Chup. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know where that name's from. If you pronounce it, C-H-U-P-P. That's, uh, that sounds like something that in middle school you make your friends spell out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So they get it's in trouble. So um, Let's move on. I don't want to say it. I'm sure he's a nice person. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, speaking of, of middle school, uh, that is actually a very good uh, segue into my bit for this episode. Um, last episode, uh, episode 21, Don Knotts Warlock. Uh, we mentioned Junibio, uh, but we kind of glossed over it without explaining what we meant for our viewers who might not know. So we're we're back uh, of doing a Japanese with them a bit. Um, oh, no. oh god! Nice. Hype, hype, hype! Nice, so, nice, nice. Uh, so the word that we used was Junibio, uh, which is very simply middle school second year syndrome. Uh, it's a, a contraction of uh, Chugako which is junior high school or like seventh through ninth grade schools. Uh, Ni, which is, uh, I guess it would have been Ninense or something, which is like second year. And Bio, which is syndrome or illness. Uh, You can also call it eighth grade syndrome because the second year of junior high in Japan is eighth grade. Um, There's a lot of different facets to Chuni Bio, but it mostly just refers to eighth grade kids who are trying really hard to stand out and just end up being kind of assholes. Um, you could call it, uh, you could call it like, I think I'm baby Goku syndrome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, sometimes it's like delinquent kids or like punk kids. And sometimes like Soichi from last episode, it's kids who insist they have magic powers. Yeah. Um, I mean, unfortunately in this case he does. Yeah. He does well. He does have magic powers. Actually, uh, no. Now powers. that we're talking about um, Suichi, I need to tell you guys something that I did. Um, I watched uh, the Junji Ito collection. Is I went and I read uh, the stories, the actual manga mm-hmm. of uh, those two stories. And I want to tell you something which amazed me is that uh, the Junji Ito collection is a panel for panel remake of those stories. Oh my god! Oh good! Like really? for real. It was like I was watching the anime again, but in still motion. It was wild. <laughs> Great. Except was with, like, saying? better art. I was about to yeah, say, was the manga better? better. <laughs> but, like, it was so wild, because I was like, man, I'm, I, I wanted to read the uh, the dull one and be like, oh, the, I hope that this is longer, and it goes into more detail. Nope, it's as short as the <laughs> other one. God. Yeah. It's, 
Cool, cool, cool. I wish I could produce work like Junji Ito produces work because he's just like, okay, curse is done. Uh, what's the next big thing? Don't have a. Okay. I, I got to work on that a little more. Oh, yeah, weird story about a doll. Four pages. Yeah, sure, I'll put that down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, here, I'm going to write this thing about dolls. Here's this thing about spirals. Here's this thing about a town that doesn't have any streets. Here's blah, blah, blah. He just like sh- sh- shits them out and they're. Yeah. So often good. Sometimes. Sometimes you know? a little weird. Sometimes they <laughs> yeah. bounce off of us, but that might Sometimes just be. Sometimes they read like really shitty creepypasta. And you, you know the creepypasta wiki and it's just like filled with garbage? Yeah. It's like clicking yeah, a random. Who's that? Book. Who was that figure in the McDonald's? And where did the black oil door go? Oh, oh no. Um, oh no, don't do this to me, Emma. <laughs> 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 Did you guys know that there was a last episode of SpongeBob SquarePants? Yeah. I'll <laughs> turn it into Jonathan Frank. Somebody stop me. <laughs> guys, it's who, was, Minecraft, who was Minecraft that man at the time? spider is haunting me. The, there's a spider in my computer. Did, <laughs> Zero Brian is going to fuck my dad. Did, oh, no. Could the action that one of really did happen be, to me. Could the action of the bucket be... <laughs> be explained by chemical forces or was it something else who do you remember the tallest man you've ever met please 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 let's do you get like back to go home. wandering beneath the pan? <laughs> oh, God. oh yeah, no okay one last thing about uh Chinibyo. uh it was coined by a radio dj whose name was uh hikaru Ijuin, and uh it was in like 1999 he was joking about it and then basically he was like never mind i didn't think you guys are going to turn into a whole thing uh but it was too late i didn't mean to um, dunk on a bunch of like shitty kids they're just <laughs> shitty kids just, they'll grow out said. of it probably <laughs> they'll be fine and then everyone dunked on the shitty kids and then everyone dunked on the shitty kids mm-hmm. well, sometimes you need to be dunked on Anyway, yeah. um, you gotta, you gotta get dumped Anyway, I've got an anime for us to watch. Sure, oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's watch this, this yeah. podcast is about that. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I'll tell you, uh, I I was in like a really long um like uh, call with my friends on Halloween, and I met some uh, friends of friends, and one of them is named Millie, uh, and they suggested an anime for us to watch. Millie nice. Sherry. Uh, which you could find their Instagram because I, I thought because it was so nice to get a, a suggestion that I'll I'll plug their Instagram, which is Millie oh, yeah. um, I love you, Millie Sherry. Yeah, and love you, Millie uh, Sherry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so the suggestion is that we watch this anime from 1979 called The Rose of Versailles. Mm. Oh. Wait. Why? Why do I feel like I've heard of that? Well, I've seen it. It's big. That, but... It's Before real you... big. <laughs> Uh, have you seen it, Emma? I hope not. I have not. I have not seen it. Uh, I did a very brief. Uh, I heard like a very brief speech on it in one of my Japanese classes. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> but let's I, do it. I am, I am free enough of context to to get into this one. All right. Let's do it. I should mention before we go. Uh, I have a last minute addition to the news bit because I just <laughs> saw it on Twitter, which is. Hit us which is the best news I've seen all week, which is Japanese Spider-Man confirmed for Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse sequel. Oh my god, Whoa. really? The emissary from hell! Tim? Nice. Holy shit! Yes! That's yes. awesome. <laughs> yes. Alright, all right, let's go watch it right away. And, and later on, the beautiful Oscar and everyone they knew were bludgeoned to death in the streets by vicious sans culotte <laughs> revolutionaries. F- fuck yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Love that part. Well. Yeah. Let them eat cake indeed. So uh, let's, uh, let me read the blurb for you guys of this, oh, yes. of this uh, show. Please do. Okay, so The Rose of Versailles, episode one from Wikipedia. Oscar Francois de Gilleris is born. You're from fucking You're- Canada. You're Canadian. <laughs> I almost failed French class. Okay. <laughs> the only reason why I, I, I made it through French class was on pity and pity alone. Anyway. Oscar <laughs> okay. is born. 
Due to her father's strong desire for a son, she has raised a boy. At age 14, she decides to be, she declines an offer to become commander of the Royal Guard and watch over Mary Antoinette due to her dislike of babysitting and lingering desire to live as a woman. But she accepts after defeating contender Giro Deli in a duel oh. <laughs> and a fight and talk with her servant. Oh my God, this, this is so poorly written. Anyway, she fights her friend. Um, His name's Andre. It's Andre. Just Andre. <laughs> Andre. Uh, I did say that one. And uh, <laughs> this this Wikipedia uh, description has a small aside about how it differs from the manga. In the manga, Oscar oh. is promoted to commander before she graduates from military academy and is proud of the accomplishment, accepting it without worry. Okay, thanks for telling me that deep lore. Oh. Deep. Wow. Anyway, so yeah, this uh, this takes place in the 1700s in France, and these are the upper class people. Specifically, it takes place in uh, 1769, which is bad news for everyone involved. Um, yeah, it's not great for everybody. Mm -hmm. I was, yeah, I'm gonna mention. I'm gonna mention this. That uh, th okay, let's put it this way. This is uh, pretty apparently pr pretty classic shoujo, and uh, is proto Utena, basically. Yes, yes, strongly. Uh, the imagery is nigh identical in places, which mm -hmm. <laughs> which makes me look askance at Uthana now. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I will say that I'm not really coming at it from the same place that most people who would like it are coming at it. I'm coming at it from the perspective of a huge fucking dork. <laughs> because I saw uh -huh. them sword fighting the first time and I went, those should oh, be small yeah. swords. Yeah. <laughs> I knew you were gonna bring okay. us sword seven, facts. It's seventeen nine. It's seventeen sixty nine. It's, those should be small swords. Consider <laughs> perhaps that it's much easier to draw and animate big swords. No, not even. They're just Consider. like they're basically just needles. Um, <laughs> big sword look cool. Big sword do look cool. Yeah. Um. Uh, and uh yeah and i just started going in and i was just like yeah this would be about the time that they were getting written that uh that yeah the 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 fucking franco uh austrian war was ending and we were setting the stage for the for the bloodletting that was to come <laughs> the slaughter <laughs> yeah i liked how they they went into like some not like heavy detail but they went into the history of like what had just like transpired years beforehand and it was yeah. like, I was thinking to myself, wow, it, dead ass, is this the only way I'm going to learn history is by watching it in random <laughs> clips from anime? Me fucking too. Yes. You gotta watch, you, you gotta watch Phantom Blood now so that you can learn about Mary Queen of Scots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God. Yeah. I need to learn more history by and watching her, anime. And her, and her knights, Tarkas and Bruford. <laughs> could you imagine being in like could you fucking imagine being like a history of the world class and then they wheel in a wheel in a fucking community uh, like uh, television monitor on like those big like roller stands and then yeah. you watch this fantastic Hell yeah. incredible happens that would um, be a good day in school let's move um, on it would right. be a good day when they, when they roll out the, the AV club deck and they show you Rose of Versailles mm -hmm. um Man, that just reminds me of that one time I saw um, that one Japanese book that was, what was it? It was uh, Learn English with Jojo, and I realized I would be <laughs> terrified of anybody who learned English from that book. <laughs> yeah. God. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> you just, you, you got to meet them at the airport, and they're just like, oh, you're approaching me. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, All right. So, so who has thoughts about this? I have lots of oh. thoughts. I've I got a few. Like, I have so many thoughts. Can I start with many, the, the many biggest thoughts. one? The biggest one that kept coming to me every single time, like sure. it would do a shot change or something. This show loves its sparkles. Well, there yeah. So yeah. many yes, sparkles in this sure. show. Holy fuck. It's yes, a genre sister. definer. That's why every other it, show, show likes sparkles. <laughs> because yeah. this one did. Um, God. I loved this. I, I loved yeah. every single moment of it. <laughs> I, I I did like it. I liked how few uh, frames of animation horse legs had too. God, yeah. <laughs> oh my I like how like, did this? Did they animate this on tens? What is? <laughs> I liked how few frames of animation anything or anyone had. Yeah. God. Um, it was just I like, love the sword fighting. It was like a slideshow. 
<laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, the sword fighting was still good because they had good keyframes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like, honestly, this this definitely. I know I've talked a lot about how anime used to be bad, but like <laughs> this is like a shining example of like old anime that we're like, we don't we don't need a budget. We're just going to we're just going to do some cool shit and you're going to like it no matter how many frames of animation that we have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it was still fun. Like it was still yeah. fun to watch. It was fun to look at. I mm -hmm. don't this also was not too. what I thought it was. So, no, what, what did it, you think it was? I will have to track down what I thought it was. It was it's a very fucking different thing than I thought. God. God. <laughs> it involved like a semi-abusive relationship between a much older woman and a very young man. Hmm. Oh, oh dear. Set, set uh -oh. in basically the same time period, actually. <laughs> oh boy. Huh. You. But uh, I'll have to find it. Oh By the way, God. just so, just in case you guys uh, haven't clocked it, this show gets really gay later. I thought oh, so. yes, it does. I had a feeling I'm, she's going to um, fall in love with Mary Antoinette. Uh, apparently it's, not. Oh, apparently. really? Uh, Marie. Well, well, and it's not it's not Marie. It is uh, one, like her protege, I think. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Marie yeah, Antoinette it's... is apparently well. It's kind of hard to fall in love with Marie Antoinette, given that she's a gigantic bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Taking some bold stances on Marie Antoinette in this podcast. <laughs> sorry, uh... sorry, Marie Antoinette stands. <laughs> um... God, <laughs> this is our be... line in the sand. Oh, uh, clip Ryan, that for the dead. fucking video. This is going to be the one that gets us fans. <laughs> God. This is the one that people are going to hate us for now. <laughs> this is it. This is like, I call. can't believe they I'm said I'm sorry that. for coming out against all you fucking Marie Antoinette kins. <laughs> God oh, no. damn! No Don't doubles. bring other kin right. into this. Let so, them be. Um, so, uh, this anime was really, really good. It, um, all that I knew about it was that it was not technically a Yuri anime, but it codified a lot of it. Uh, it was like one of the earliest shoujo anime, um, and it it was. I mean, you can t just tell by looking at the single like the single picture on the Wikipedia article that like, oh, this entirely inspired uh, Utena. Yeah, like just like a scary <laughs> amount. Um, God, they wear the same fucking uniform. It's the same. It's the same uniform. It's so. Utena, listen, that's another thing that I could talk about for a while. Utena is Have you beautiful. seen it? Because could we watch it on a podcast? Oh, one of the episodes. Uh, I've seen. I've seen okay. a large portion of I need it. to watch it on my own then. We could, I was extremely could... drunk, though, when I watched it. So that might be. Just we have, could maybe. Have you were like the episode. grandma in the middle of the yeah. show. Yeah, we'll do a, a nice bonus episode where we all get drunk and watch Utena. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was watching it with uh, I was watching it with one of our friends and uh, and uh, one of their friends who uh, halfway th who later on decided that I was some sort of bigot. So, um, oh no, I remember that story. Yeah. Anyway. Yes. Oh yeah. No, I remember that now as well. <laughs> anyway, let's let's not talk about that on the podcast though. Yeah, let's yeah, talk best, about this the, one. Actually, the, the best way to reply to a call out post is to call them stupid and block them. Um. <laughs> God. Anyway. <laughs> uh, so, um, thoughts, folks? God. <laughs> anyway. Anything to get away thoughts. from that. I like the way the grandma got drunk. That was very funny to me. I liked how the grandma got drunk and passed out, yes. I was like, wow, she's crunk, huh? Well, who won't be charmed by a by a fat old French woman getting fucking hammered? Damn, grandma's crossfaded, huh? She's fucked up. <laughs> Damn, I got the game fucked up. God, what um, a, what do like, what do like middle class French people do in the in the seventeen seventies yeah. when they got fucking like, hammer? Do. It's just like <laughs> she was like it, was it was it looked like she was just sitting there and just like drinking periodically. She's <laughs> just staring at. That's what you used to do: is stare at a space in the middle of the table <laughs> and get hammered. <laughs> Oh man! Thank God they invented movies. <laughs> thank God they invented television, so nobody had to talk thank to each God. other anymore. <laughs> yeah, God. We can just watch anime now. It's fine. We can just yeah. watch anime while we drink. Yeah. 
Oh my god. So uh, I love the his- historical figures with an- like big anime eyes is very funny. It is hilarious. Yeah, oh my god. It's very, very funny. <laughs> the only one this uh, the only one that I can actually clock as a real historical person is well, there was a still frame of Marie Antoinette, and then there was uh, was King Louis. I I believe Oscar Oscar herself is not, but I think I think her father is a real hmm. guy. Uh, Francois, yeah, Francois de Jarge, Um But I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't swear to that. Uh, uh, but yeah, this was an in- incredible, bizarre mix. It was a wild of, ride. Like teaching real history and establishing just gay mythology. Yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. I was here for it. it. That's a good into some ancient. Get old... <laughs> you gotta be t- you gotta be taught this kind of gay by the ancient priestess. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go out to yeah. their temple and inhale their mists so they can. Yeah. Be- <laughs> Oh. I I'm straight. I could never go. <laughs> <laughs> I can never go, but we'll tell yeah. you about it someday. Yeah, we'll um, we'll yeah. tell you the the mysterious the mysterious ways of the of the Sappos. And, uh... <laughs> mm-hmm. um, Catch us at the Yuri Temple, folks. I'm not even yeah. I'm not even allowed on the island. <laughs> <laughs> Did I... I, have to, I have to stand in the boat and wait for y'all to come back. Yeah. <laughs> You're like the yeah. ferryman. Yeah. <laughs> Crossing the river sticks into gay town. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, <laughs> you like, you, you're the one who rows the boat across the river gay. And then you point to the to the cobblestone path up to the Yuri Tower and you say, I go, I cannot follow you on this path. I cannot walk these paths. I just stand there and say, here and no further. <laughs> <laughs> See the journey you must take on your own. Yeah, there will be one oh, set of footsteps because I will be. Back this is here. a weird episode. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very weird episode uh, about <laughs> Magpie, ferryman of the lesbians. Um, <laughs> Magpie, LGBT, <laughs> LGBT psychopomp, psychopomp. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh my god. Right. Um, uh, I desperately need to say how much I loved the beginning, where the guy just like walks in and straight up like assigns a gender and then leaves <laughs> yeah i mean parents like, do that anyway don't worry yeah but i mean like this was like it was just a little more direct <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just like i don't care what you are i'm gonna put a sword in your hand <laughs> yeah you're a sword baby now Congrats. congratulations it's, it's a sword, sword. wielder <laughs> congratulations sir it's a swordsman um, <laughs> God, I was actually yeah. really fascinated by how they kept like code switching between like referring to Oscar as she or he. Yeah. Um, I found that mm-hmm. really interesting, and uh, but now I don't know what pronouns to use. <laughs> I know yeah. I was like, because then there was like this one moment where she was like like thinking about it, and I was like, is she having gender feels because like same? Yeah, really <laughs> very relatable. I don't. Yeah. I have no oh. idea which one to use either. She she does say says several points. I might be a woman, but et cetera. So I'm gonna but I'm I'll, gonna go I'll with she for the purposes of the episode. But yeah. NB representation. I wonder what the English dub of this would be like. I feel like it would be crazy. I, I feel so, like it's I was so hopeful it would be an English dub because like, I knew it would be wild. Like at the tree at the tree scene, it just is like I may be a woman, but I'll cut your face, you pussy. <laughs> oh <laughs> shit! God, should we make a fan dub? Of course. Yeah, we should. Oh my we God. should. Let's do uh, it. I'll Bonus. voice Oscar. I actually yeah. has. I'm not. Yes. Has this has this been dubbed in English? I'm not sure. Oh, probably. But like, well, let's make dubbed it in a way that it's like hilarious. Let's, let's do it. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do a stories it. dub. Like um, en- en- English dubs have not stopped people from redubbing them. See, uh, that's true. See the Sonic redubs. <laughs> God, <laughs> there's a film. There's a live action film. Oh, incredible! There's a live action film. I'm here to report. Oh, there's a live action film. It's Holy called Lady shit. Oscar, and it's a Japanese French romantic drama. Uh, are we gonna have to watch filmed that on, on location oh, in France? God. 
Wow. Yeah, in France. Oh Jesus. my god. That sounds I want to watch this really badly. Anyway, this I mean, there's what is there to say about the show? It's fantastic. It was I beautiful. Keep, and... I keep having to mute myself because I keep doing huge belches. Maybe I shouldn't have eaten nine potato I'm sorry. rounds before we <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have. I've made Maybe. a terrible I, mistake. Oh I just, I mean, I just upended like a five pound carton of extra cheddar flavor blasted goldfish right into my gullet before we started recording. Listen, so I apologize I if you're hearing any really cool sounds from my stomach. I was eating goldfish ass and Magpie was counting us in. And I was like, oh shit, I better stop eating these. Oh no. I just swallow the goldfish. Yeah, um, I, I have another thought that uh, that I've been trying to formulate for a while, just to just to make this episode extra weird. It's which sure. like this show has taught me something about myself that I didn't know, and it's that I think Char oh from Gundam is hot. Oh my god, <laughs> we've <laughs> done it, folks. There, we don't even need to do any more episodes of the podcast. This was the this journey was the all along. Was, was this the whole thing? This was yeah. this was a psyop. We were trying to. <laughs> You're trying to incept the idea into my mind. We were trying to incept the idea so that you'd finally admit that Char is hot. Yeah. I mean, I mean everybody how else know. That's true. Come from this show. I don't. Understand. I mean, Char looks like he's from this show. Do you know what's wild Do though I is that I have Char. I have the phrase no, Gundam no. in in my in my notes. And I'll tell you in what context I said it. I said, ornate castles in anime just remind me of the first episode of Gundam that I watched. The first and only episode <laughs> of Gundam that I watched because I didn't like it. And wow. it's like, <laughs> it's like, uh, it was my own one episode rule, but it was the Gundam one episode rule. Wow. Which which Gundam did you watch? I, mean, I just searched like some, I just like searched, someone was like, Gundam's good. Just so I like Google searched up Gundam, Gundam and I like picked like the first show that I found and I watched it and it was the animated in the same style as this. It looked like it came out huh. like in a similar year. And all I remember is just like, wait, is this the guy from Gundam? What's his name? That's Char. Anyway, yeah, he's hot. Know. What do you know? Char's he's hot. hot. He's hot. He's hot. Oh, See, Joey gets it now. Yeah, I, um, I understand. They look, they, they look like they could be in like an eighties like like uh, glam punk band. They yes. yeah, that's, they they codified the look. But uh, Fine. um, but well, yeah, I, I remember mention, from that uh, one episode of of uh, the, the one the, the one thing I remember from that one episode of Gundam I watched was like um a like uh aristocratic lady like inviting some dude to her birthday party and he rips oh up the God, birthday invitation no. and saying i'll kill you and did I was you like, did you start did you start with gundam wing yeah <laughs> oh my god yeah. <laughs> well listen a series has to be robust to people finding the worst of it okay you don't understand gundam this can't live by that rule because it's gundam <laughs> it's been <laughs> It's been like 40 years. There's so much of it black. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking oh Gundam. Can you tell me good Gundam then? Like, I'll watch good Gundam, but I, I just searched uh, Gundam and I found this. Uh, what you I should watch do? SD Gundam, which is the best oh. Gundam series, I think, personally. Okay. Um, uh, anything, no, that's a, that's a joke. It's a joke. I don't watch SD Gundam. Anyway, anyway, watch, watch. watch anything with Jar in it. It's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It, that's all Universal Century stuff, okay? All, right. all the other stuff is different timelines, and it's all weird. <laughs> oh my god! So can we establish with that that like the like adult uh, Oscar that was in there was hot? Um, they were fourteen. Uh -huh. No, there was like an adult version in the credits. I, I think. think. I mean, in the. Uh, listen, folks, it's real. I know it's passe to be like, <laughs> boy, anime and their crazy character ages. But the fact that this girl was appointed to the head of the royal guard at 14 years old, <laughs> anime just be saying anything. It's wild. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, let me, let me, let, let's have a little sidebar over here, Emma. Oh, shit. Uh, are, you f are you familiar with France? No. No, are I've you familiar never been with, there. Is, are you I've familiar? never been there. Specifically no, with Imperial France before immediately I, before the revolution. Okay, I how many been there, times so do no. I have to tell you that I don't know any things? Let's let's put it this way. <laughs> they were known for making poor fucking decisions. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Oh, oh man. Um, can I point to a part of the episode which I think might have been my favorite? Hmm. Is uh, when uh, Oscar fights with um, Andre. Um, and uh-huh. that like super loud scream that Oscar does <laughs> as they're uh-huh. throwing the punch. Yeah. God, that's so good. Just that was like, just no, not, not, not Andre out. screaming Oscar. I was saying Oscar screaming, just screaming. Just, ah. Ah. Yeah, it was like, ah! like just a really loud <laughs> oh, yeah. clipping scream as they <laughs> as threw it. Just beautiful. completely powerful punch. Uh, I also loved how geez. Andre was like, I want you to hit me as hard as you can. I was like, what? Is she Tyler Durden now? <laughs> yes. yes. Well, Tyler Durden <laughs> yes. was actually just referencing the Rose of Versailles. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true, little, actually. Little known fact is that Tyler Durden from Fight Club loves the Rose of Versailles. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a, listen, it's true to life. That's This is the only way, uh, way men can display affection for each other. You have to beat the shit out of people. You have to beat each but, other yeah. up. You have to Jesus. beat each other into a fucking paste on the ground. Damn. God. We are learning a lot way. about each other this episode. That's the only way you can tell another man that you love them. <laughs> oh, I love how this I love how that scene opened with Oscar being like, remember the time we came to this to this pond and we and almost, almost drowned? fucking died. And then it was like, we almost died? Well, die now. And then they start die. <laughs> Hell yes. We didn't even talk about the the duel with um, fucking uh, J- Jaredare or whatever his name was. Jar- J- Jaredella, I, can. I, think. I, I can't look it up. I'll look it up. I'll the do shitty this. pretty boy. I'll take the ring to Mordor. That guy was... Um, I kind of left that guy, to be honest. That guy kind of le- got left in the lurch because he did lose, but he, later he was just like, yeah, I lost. <laughs> but then he was like, "Oh yeah, Oscar must do this thing." Yeah, you know, Oscar kicked my ass. Oscar should oh, probably. Was, be yeah, really sure. I really <laughs> just got my ass whipped. Uh huh. <laughs> who, who does she train with? I want to know. <laughs> it's just like one of those like do it yourself until you figure it out type deals. <laughs> Mm-hmm. No, he's just like how do he meets Andre, and he's just like how do you train with uh, train with Oscar? He's just like, well, let her punch me in the jaw as hard as she fucking can, <laughs> and try not to die. And I try not to let my eyes roll up in the back of my head. <laughs> we, have, we have a strict training regimen where Oscar beats the shit out of me. <laughs> it's pretty I good. Even, it's pretty I don't even feel it, it anymore. Whatever, I don't even feel it. <laughs> um speaking of the yeah. uh the fight scene the uh the sword fight in the middle the duel between the pretty boy mm-hmm. and oscar um yeah. i wrote mm-hmm. down i love how this is a hannah barbera animation <laughs> god <laughs> just the, like the fucking background like uh plates being like motion blurred and just sort of like moving yeah <laughs> oh, i did so notice good. that <laughs> Do not move the background under any <laughs> circumstance. <laughs> oh my god. Oh it will god. cost us the extra twelve dollars that we'll put our studio under. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's me and my bank account oh my right now. <laughs> um Yeah. Relatable. Mm. I uh I like how uh there was a middle part where she like uh they're talking and it's like very moody and then she throws a book and I was like, what's a gender about a miserable pile of secrets? Yes. <laughs> but enough though. <laughs> 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 yeah. Um, that's basically all I have uh, other than the painting at the very beginning during the credits of Oscar, like all like with all those thorns around her, thought that looked really cool. Oh yeah. yeah. It was I cool. saw that and I just mm-hmm. went, oh, this is Utena. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> Sweet. Can I just Sweet. say, I, I always from. thought it was. Pre- I always thought was this, I'm putting myself on blast here. I always thought it was pronounced Utena. That's what uh, I thought. No, folks, hey. I'm here to say it's Utena is how it's pronounced in Japanese. So you can say it however you want, but who cares? Who cares? Doesn't matter. It's just Emma being like, all of you are wrong, none of you are valid. Uh, no, come on. I don't think you're all wrong. <laughs> I try to say words. Only me. It. Only I'm wrong. Black, Black Ole, I feel as though that some of this is even, maybe even subconsciously a spiteful attempt <laughs> to, to destroy <laughs> Emma. 
just trying <laughs> trying secretly to to bring about my demise um i'm not yeah. trying okay i just suck you're just, you're just like succeeding <laughs> um yeah no it's fine Spending I don't know. Guys. Some of them oh, are guys. pretty wild. Like it's pretty suspicious. Some of them were out the there. I to, the I the repeated I to. I to. That is that is one of those things where when you do something wrong once, you have to do it right a hundred times. <laughs> I'm still I'm still on I'm still on number like four or five of me saying Ito. <gasps> you did it. I know. Oh, good job. I'm, I'm, proud. I'm so proud of you. I'm so I know. Proud. I'm so glad. Now pay me money. All right, no. everybody, All right. everybody, disengage. It's not. Uh, we got to save some more <laughs> for next save episode. Save some for later. <laughs> yeah. Um, I have. Can I have one more? One more random thought. Like, sure, yes. Of did any? Did anyone else think that um, Oscar kind of looked like Young Dio? A little. Oh my god. <laughs> Just a little. Like, I had laughing. to get that out there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh my god. Oh I'm, my right. god. <laughs> I'm correct. You're no, you're right, and now I'm I'm just like going back through the whole oh, uh, just the bad, whole thing. Jojo. <laughs> oh my god! That's Goodbye, so Garadella. <laughs> Wait, isn't M Marie Antoinette a Jojo? No. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> yeah. No, her name her name has Jojo in it. Wait a minute, isn't I? I get the feeling that maybe Jojo's Bizarre Adventure has like yeah a, uh, in secret co-opted a lot of like the aesthetic of like seven seventeen hundreds france um, um it, uh, not even in secret the beginning of it uh but hey uh don't uh, leave joey alone because marie antoinette's birth name was maria antonia josepha johanna <laughs> really? uh-huh really? marie antoinette is a jojo well, well the, the problem with this theory is that it would make me wrong so uh <laughs> So and, I'm afraid uh, that that can't happen. <laughs> much, much like uh, mm -hmm. other JoJo's, she too was decapitated and had her head replaced <laughs> by her worst enemy. Um, Holy shit. So. <laughs> That's fucked up. It was up. a bizarre adventure. Is that, is is that, that episode over yet? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, is anybody else going to oh watch any more of this? I might actually, just because I have a... I, I have a perverse desire to see where it. this goes with the in relation to the French Revolution. Here's, here's what <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you is that I'd I noticed there's like that. 34 episodes at least. Oh, that's a lot. And mm. I was like scared. So, <laughs> that is kind I of a lot. I, I mean, like <laughs> I feel like food. that's I feel like that's enough to get right up in there and see some people's brains get stoved in stoved in by muscadins. <laughs> so. There might be enough time for that to happen. <laughs> it um, could be. I would love. I would love to watch more of this. I would love to just see just more of of Oscar Jarge being a badass. <laughs> yeah, basically. I couldn't read that name properly. I I think it's my North American non French brain. <laughs> my yeah. well, my my first my first instinct when I saw like the subtitles was like, oh, Jarge's. Uh, <laughs> That's what I said. Yeah. That I was like, no, Jar that can't be. You're just like, wait a minute, that's insane. <laughs> <laughs> wait that's that's no they can't be no you see when i speak I, there's no voice in my head to help me with that <laughs> i just, just on your whatever's own. on the mind comes out immediately <laughs> and then that becomes just the pronunciation yeah um, exactly i i'm just going by the uh the pronunciation in japanese i might be wrong about the actual french pronunciation who knows no one knows. Yeah, who cares? They do the say anyway. there are no French and, uh, people anymore. Yeah, it's true. There's well, now hang on a minute. What happened? Did we miss that in the anime news segment? Yeah, we missed it. There are no anime French news. people anymore. I'm afraid oh, Naruto shit. destroyed France. <laughs> no, oh, no, no, Naruto, Naruto, you got to stop. The country of France. I'm sorry. We were joking I... before the podcast about how, like, maybe the Anime News Network is larger than we thought, and maybe it like rivals like the uh, the Associated <laughs> Press or like Reuters or something. Uh, AP right. actually stands for Anime Press. Yeah, um, oh, the okay, Anime News Network has me. has broken. Wait, that. <laughs> I also <laughs> I also have to say that uh, our our pre Halloween episode I forgot to mention. Um, that uh kakurembo was a suggestion from a viewer uh thank you zach okay. hope you're still listening nice 
I should check our email right. before we leave. Oh yeah, we have an email. Hey, do y'all want to talk about that? that? Yes, uh, uh, Joey. Yeah. What is our email address? Uh, our email address, my favorite part of the show, is uh, uh -huh. one episode cast at gmail dot com, and that's one word, not the number. So Hell yes. if you want to send us some fan mail, send us some hate mail, send us some suggestions. Just get right up on in there. It's great. I, right I feel so there. professional every time we talk about the email. <laughs> yeah, it's a real Me shame too. that we don't have any emails. Well, uh, yeah, can you send read us to us emails. the most recent SoundCloud email we got? Um, can that I'll be my bedtime story, Magpie? I'll, I'll read to you the most recent email we got. Uh, from YouTube creators, the one episode rule, your November creator monthly newsletter is here, despite your repeated attempts to get us to not send you these emails. <laughs> despite your YouTube. directions. Sent at 5.31 a.m. The most oh, yeah. time. time. <laughs> Thanks. God. Thank so, you. So uh, let's, uh, let's go ahead and wrap it up then, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Goodbye. Um, peace.